Amy, what is our third main topic today? Our third topic today comes from Atun Forelli. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show, Amy. Thank you very much. I wanted to get your thoughts on the news that Will Ferrell and Reese Witherspoon are going to be starring in a new wedding comedy, and it's going to be directed by Nick Stoller, who also directed one of my all-time favorite comedies, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I know we haven't had a truly great Fer- uh, Ferrell comedy in a while, but... I think this sounds great. What are your thoughts? Thanks. And bring on the filthy. All right. Thanks a lot for that tune. Okay. Yeah. Look, first of all, Nick Stoll, Forgetting Sarah Marshall is in my top 10 favorite comedies ever. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I can go back and watch that every year. I, I love that movie. There's so many too. different elements. And of course, now I'm not very big on Get Him to the Greek, but I know you're a big fan That's of Get Him to the Greek. Movie. He also directed oh, that. Yeah. I, 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 you know what? I think it's one of the great, I guess it's a sequel. It's in a, a way. off. It's sort kind of, of. I don't know why, but I, you know, having a Jeffrey and pet the walls. I mean, come on, that movie's hilarious. I'm, I'm with you. That movie's hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> and then he did Neighbors, which I actually quite like. Yeah. I like the one he did with Neighbors. So he's got a good comedian. Will Ferrell. I think it's safe to say Will Ferrell kind of represents comedy since the mid '90s to maybe the mid 2010s, right? Mm-hmm. Like he was the face of what comedy in movies was. Whether it's things like all-time greats like Anchorman. Uh, Step Brothers is in my top five favorite comedies of all time. I mean, he's just, a, a what was the car race? Talladega Nights. Oh, yeah. And whatever, of course, his long stretch on Saturday Night Live where they try to have him in every single sketch because when he was in a sketch, ratings went up and all that kind of stuff. Now, I don't know if he's done a really funny movie since, well, actually, you know what? Daddy's Home was pretty good. The, fir- the one he did with Mark Wahlberg, the first one, it got trounced by a lot of people. I finally got around to watching him like, F everybody else. That's a really funny movie. The sequel, yeah, but whatever. Will Ferrell is not Will Ferrell anymore. He doesn't carry that same kind of thing. Although his latest series with Paul Rudd, I think it's called The Shrink Next Door, that was pretty damn good. He was really good in it, too. Yeah. That was pretty damn good. And he's shown he has some dramatic chops as well. But, you know, the name Will Ferrell no longer carries the weight with comedy movies as it used to. But... You tell me that he and Academy Award winner Reese Witherspoon, who's killing it with the morning show and a lot of other things, and then you bring in the director for getting Sarah Marshall, and it's a wedding comedy? To me, that sounds like there could be a lot of potential. This comes to us from the good folks over at Deadline, who write the following. Amazon has secured the rights to the untitled wedding comedy from writer-director Nick uh, Stoller, um, which has Will Ferrell and Reese Witherspoon attached to star. Deadline can confirm Stoller, who recently directed Universal's groundbreaking rom-com Bros, which is slated to release on September 30th, from his and Billy Eichner's script. The other notable credits on the film side include Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Get Him to the Greek, The Five-Year Engagement, I forgot about that, Neighbors and Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising, and that, of course, comes to us from Deadline. So I'll tell you what, one of the other knocks against it, straight to streaming, but I've liked a lot of Amazon comedy, to be honest with you, so I, I'm pretty big on them there. But anyway, Amy, you hear about a new comedy coming from Nick with Will Ferrell, Reese Witherspoon. Is this seem to me like, yeah, forgettable, dumped to streaming, or does it sound like it could be something nice? What do you think? I think it sounds like it could be a lot of fun. I'm actually really disappointed it's going to streaming. Me too. Because I feel like we're really just seeing a death of this kind of like mid-budget comedy, and yeah. I feel like getting all these names behind it, it's like, no, this is such a good opportunity to prove that this is there is still a market for this theatrically so that that's my biggest bummer about it. i i will ferrell's very hit or miss for me but i think you know with this team attached and and i think you know seeing reese witherspoon in, a, in something with him i'm not quite sure what tonally that'll look like but i think she could sort of that gives me sort of an impression that it's going to be a little more toned down which is probably a good thing because at this point it's like i don't want to feel like will ferrell's just trying to do talladega nights or anchorman or Step Brothers yeah. again so i think it could be good i just i honestly just wish it was uh getting a theatrical release why would you make it this uh, you know, look, <laughs> the trailer for Bros, which is that gay romantic comedy. From Billy Eichner, yeah. It looks hilarious. And I, you know, I love, like you said, I love forgetting Sarah Marshall and get him to the Greek. I like, I like this. And, you know, Re- Reese Witherspoon, I, this might seem crazy to come for me. I love Legally Blonde. I think Legally oh, yeah. Blonde a, is a great, it's a perfect great movie. movie. Yeah. And, and Reese Witherspoon <laughs> is a very deft comedic performer. Yeah. I think she's incredible, and and as long as Will Smith, Will Smith, Will Ferrell is pulled back, if he's not like, right. and and I, I think if the if Nick Stoller can can 
can keep them on the right track without letting it spin off into oblivion. I'm looking forward to this. Like, I think this could be really good. Yeah, because Will Ferrell has crossed that line, though, where man-child gets not cute. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and, and what was that, the, the one where they start the casino in their house? Oh, the one he did with Amy Poehler. Yeah, man. I, I was think it's called The House. I thought I was waiting. Yeah, the, that I was awful. It, I that was, was looking, terrible. Dude, I wanted that to be good. I love oh, I love movies. Amy Poehler because I'm a huge yeah. Parks mm -hmm. and Rec guy. Of but of course, the movie that he did with Kevin Hart too. I was looking forward to that one. And oh, that Hard one Get Hard is that? Yeah, that was yeah, yeah that one was also so not much good. Better than I mean, I feel I feel that look. I think great comedies don't just need deft performers; they need great directors mm -hmm. because the directors have to corral their performers from spinning off into improv oblivion. And I think that this team, it could work. I want Will Will Ferrell to work. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about the sounds of this? Does it sound like it could be interesting? Do you think it's a movie that's already expired its shelf life? I don't know. What do you guys think? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave them there. We want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Now, guys, you know I love Manscaped. You've heard me go on and on about the Lawnmower 4.0 and mm, that body wash. I love it so much. And so we got to ask, guys, have you started your spring cleaning yet? The carpets need cleaning, the drapes need dusting, and your lawn needs mowing, gentlemen. And you guys know Manscaped is more than just one product. They have a whole lineup of products to help you guys feeling, smelling, and looking your best. And so Manscaped is proud to present to you the Performance Package 4.0, which is the only tool that you need to keep your boys looking, smelling, and feeling good this spring. Now, to start off with, you get the Lawnmower 4.0. Guys, we have talked about this. What is wrong with us? Why have we for so long been using these terrible tools that were never meant for cutting our hair down there? The razor clipper things on our electric razors. That's barbaric, guys. You need the Lawnmower 4.0. And then there's the Weed Whacker. You guys have heard our own Ray Aura talk about this thing. He loves using it to get that hair in your nose and the ear hair and then they offer lots of other stuff like the crop preserver it's an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer the crop reviver it's a spray on toner for your balls and of course they've got the perfect grooming tool for your face with the plow 2.0 the perfect razor for the finest shave on that face so guys get 20 percent off plus free shipping with the code campia that's c-a-m-p-e-a -E at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off and free shipping with the promo code Campia at manscaped.com. It's time to throw out your old hygiene habits and upgrade your life.